Good morning everyone. Welcome to Kashano Easy Math. So this video is about solving this uh, rational equation. 2a divided by b plus 2b divided by a equals a plus b. We will be solving for the value of a and b. And before we start solving this rational e equation, I would like to say for those uh, new to my channel, Please like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it very much. All right, we start solving the uh, equation. And if you notice, uh, the rational equation uh, implies that the value of a and b must be a positive integer. It cannot be zero. That's a condition. All right, let's start solving. So we have to rewrite the uh, rational equation again. That is. 2a divided by b plus 2b divided by a equals a plus b. And I have just stated that a and b cannot be zero. So those are positive integers. So should be greater than zero. So I have just rewritten the rational equation. And the condition here is the value of a and b should be or must be greater than zero it cannot be zero okay so now we start focusing on the left side of the equation we have to simplify it uh, will be will be doing cross multiplication so this 2a times a that is 2a squared plus b times 2b that's 2b squared divided by b times a so it's a b equals a plus b simplifying this equation we have here a plus b is uh, assumed as uh, with the denominator one so we'll we'll be cross multiplying again so that is 2a squared plus 2b squared times one is the same times a b times a that is a b a squared b plus a b times b a b squared and transposing these terms both two terms on the left side of the equation b will be 2a squared plus 2b squared minus a squared b minus a b squared equals zero then we start arranging the terms this one right here and this one right here that means that is 2a squared minus a squared b and combining uh, arranging these two so that is plus 2b squared minus a b squared equals zero and if you notice on here, this a squared right here can be factored out. And the same thing on this b squared right here. All right. So I have rewritten the equation over here. to a squared minus a squared b plus 2b squared minus a b squared equals 0. And we can factor the a squared out. That is, so a squared applied by, that's 2 minus here is minus b then plus factored out b squared because b squared times quantity that's 2 minus a equals 0 and since the uh, the equation implies that uh, the value of a and b must be positive integers that means greater than 0 so this cannot be zero. A squared and B squared cannot be zero. So to make this equation equation zero, the value of this in the parentheses two minus A and two minus B must be zero. So must be equal to zero. The same thing over here. Value of two minus B must be equal to zero. But not this uh, A squared or B squared. This cannot be zero. So to make the equation true, this uh, 
terms in parentheses must be zero, but not the a squared and b squared, since the value of a must be greater than zero. And the same thing on b, the value is must be greater than zero. I uh, mean, just positive integer. So in this case, to find the value of b, we we must equate this uh, two minus b equals zero. And the other side, we we must do the same thing. That's two minus a equals zero. Simplifying on here, find the value of b. We have we have to add b here, add b b here on the right side too. So that cancels, that becomes 2 equals b on the right side. So b is 2 or 2 is b or b is 2, the same way. And in here, we'll do the same, add a, then add a to the right side also in the same way. So that cancels, that's 2 equals a or a equals 2. And to check our answer, we need to substitute the value b and a to the original equation. So the original equation is 2a right, divided by b plus 2b divided by a equals a plus b. And if you notice, the original equation is the same way. So that's right there. Okay. All right. So in here, we're checking our answer now. So we're checking it. All right, substitute so the value of a and b. So that's two times a is two, but by b is two, plus two times b is two, but by a is two, calls a is two again, plus b is two. All right, so that is two plus two, that's 2 plus 2 is 4. And on the left side, 2 times 2 is 4. Divide by 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4. Divide by 2 the same way equals 4. So, question mark right there. Is this equal to 4? So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, that means it's 4 equals to 4. So our answer is correct. We have just confirmed that the value of a is 2 the same way as b is 2 also. Alright, so that's all for now. Thank you for watching and for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I appreciate your time. You guys have a great day. I will see you in the next videos. Bye.